Hi coach. After created your pro trainer profile, you have to log into the system. Your first step, after logging into the system, that you should make, is the creation of your team. Set the club name, team name and short name of the team. Don't forget to save it. When your team is ready, create your season. The season is a time range in which you want to work with the team. Select the start and end date of the season and save it. The next step that makes you closer to be ready and start to use the system, is adding players to the team. To do it, go to the left menu, click on the add a new player tab and start filling empty fields. Start with the player's first name and surname. If you plan to give access to the system to your players, enter an email address and set a login and password for them. Moreover, you can add to the player's profile birth date. After that, finally, you are able to plan your first training. To create new training, go to the team dashboard tab and choose when you want to set training. Click on the calendar, then select the training option from visible buttons. Subsequently, fill the empty fields like training topic time and location of the training and some other optional fields. If your players got access to the system, you can send them push a notification about training on theirs mobile app. To finish adding new training, click the green button in the right bottom corner. Your training should appear on the team calendar, and it should be also visible on players and parents calendars in the mobile app. The next step you should do is create a single exercise and build your exercises database. First, you should get more familiar with graphic and animation wizards. Click on the left menu tactic board tab. Enter the project name and select the pitch perspective, you want to use and start drawing. It's simple, take a look. You can use a bunch of training items, players symbols and so on. You can draw areas, lines and adding text fields. After all, save the project to your database and use it for years. In just a few clicks, you can change the graphic to the animation, add a new frame to the project and set the movements of the items. When you finish, you can save the animation as a file on your disk. Ok, let's create your first exercise. The exercise consists of two elements, description and graphics. The second element you already have done, so let's go to your library where by clicking on the blank space and select the create exercise option, you can go to the proper creation window. Enter the exercise name, select language and set the rest of the empty inputs. Fill in the description input, set the default time of exercise and click save. After that, you can add graphics to the exercise. You are able to add any PNG or JPG file from your disk or select created earlier project from your library. Now your exercise is ready to be added to a session plan. As you remember, you've added training to your team's calendar. To add exercises, go to the left menu and click on the training, schedule tab. Find plan training and click add exercise button. Select exercises you want to add to the training session from the list of available exercises from your library and also from the public library, where you can find more than 10 000 ready to use exercises. After final selection, click on the green save button. 
Now you are able to change exercise time and set the proper order of the exercises in the session plan. To download a PDF session plan, click on the blue link in the right bottom corner of the window and select one of two sessions plan versions. That's all. It's easy, isn't it? The last basic element of the coach's everyday work is checking attendance. Remember, you cannot check attendance in advance. That's why, in this case, we have to copy training to the past day. Now, the system lets you check attendance at the training. This and many other functionalities are clearly described in our handbook, which you can find in the left menu. Good luck coach!